Hey Amino, it's Kuroi Cartoons here again, and I got to show you the Avatar chat this time. Right, I know a lot of you don't like the Avatar chat. It's a creepy thing, you know, it's different things about it. You just don't like it, it looks creepy, but maybe you guys don't know how to use it properly. So I'm here to promote the Avatar chat, just like I did for the screening room, and some other stuff, you know, and some things to show my own uh, curators in future leaders. So. We here we have the avatar chat. No, it shook the screen too much. So, if you go to your profile, you, um, let's see, you, sl you slide out the bar, uh, sidebar, go to your profile, and you can get to your avatar chat. So, you want to go from this, all right, 2D drawing, to this, all right. That's that's what you want to do. That's the idea of the. Uh, of, you can put your own face, but you know, if you're an artist like me and you want to, like, you know, show off you know, the capabilities of your, you know, what, of what you can do with your art, you want to do, be explorer of the avatar chat. Avatar chat. You want to take advantage of what it can do. So let's see. What do I have here? So currently, um, what I have for my avatar chat is. That's too dark in this room, but I have one of my characters from the Black Suitman comic, and I have another character from my Black Suitman comic. Um, didn't come out properly. It should have. It should have been much more better. I can only make. See, I can only make two uh, custom avatars um, because I have one already. I move that around. Yeah, so I have one already. This one from my comic, and I have this other guy from my comic. It'll take a while. So what you can do, well, once you have your, your character done, because it's, well, let me see what I can do. I'm going to delete this character because it didn't come out properly. There, there's a thing about this, um, about this avatar, you know, face, facial recognition. It, you have to kind of, it's a trial and error kind of business. So let's see what I can do here. So we're going to open this up. Um, what we want is this face should be easy to render fast because I tested it. Male body, submit. All right, so it's gonna take four minutes. So let's see if I can kill four minutes, four minutes, and try to show off the chat. Yeah, it's still recording. Okay, so let's see if I can kill four minutes. So you know, once your character is ready, all right. Right, once your character is ready, you can dress them up in anything, you know, clothing, you know, any kind of clothes. Let's zoom that out, you know, any kind of clothes, you know, uh, download some new clothes to wear. Uh, let's go with the suit still. Hair, standard hair so, um, you get with the character. I'm not sure if it depends on the model. So, you know, I can go bald with this guy, you know, um, let's see. That hair, that's the standard hair I have for him. You know, any kind of hair you want. And, you know, anime looking kind of hair. Long hair. You know, short hair. I never actually played with the hair around the character, but <laughs> this is funny. So I'm going to go back to this one because it fits, it fits him much more better. Um, you can play with the skin color of any color. You know, say you're playing, you know, if you're, if you're a person who likes to do a lot of character creation and stuff like that in and, and video games, you can, um, this, this will be something for you. Oh, I can see the nostril, the, when the nostrils are off, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, you can play with the lighting of your character, uh, the, the, t the tone of your, of your character. If you're making your own, you can not use any color. So the, the standard color for the background and let's see, let's go back here. Actually, no, I'm going to go back here and then I'm going to just light darken it down. Alright, so I'm fine with that. Backgrounds, you can have, this is the character's background I have for him. Then they have a range of standard backgrounds um, that comes with the character creation. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I have this one for him. So that's what he looks like. Like this character here is what he actually looks like. And, you know, it's not easy to actually get them to turn into that, that character. Okay, so I can save my my person I have right now. If I try to save another avatar, I'm not sure if I'll open up another slot, but I know I can just save it, and now it's going to just stay like that. That's going to be him. So we got this one kind of working out. So we'll be back after, or you know, the Amino will tell me when when the when the um, when the image is done. So let's back out of here for a second.
All right, let's slide open the shared folders. Uh, let's go to albums right, and avatars. So ever since this thing came out, I just I went and I went crazy with this trying to figure out what can I um, what can I do to get these characters make these OC models. So a thing I found out is it's not easy to actually do it because sometimes you know um, you, what you have to do is mimic the uh, actual facial feature. This one came out bad because I assume the the, the whites around the eyes here kind of. Um, were mistaken for cheeks so you know you had the darkness around the face and the chin so you know i was learning how to do it from from this picture of negan and it just it actually just trans um trans well, it actually came out well i can't remember what the word is um actually oh wow look at that let's check it out now all right well, let's go check it out right now it, it says it's done i think that's it all right, so it's, now it's just finishing up. Uh, let's go look at our pretty face. So the reason why this probably worked out much better than any other face because of the whole lighting aspect of the face. So not only two avatars. <clears throat> so as you can see here in this image below, um, you know, I was doing this on flock draw and before I really transferred, so I didn't have much layers to work with. Um, you know, I I did a nice rendering of the face with the cheeks. Oops, so I don't want to delete that. I didn't know you can do that too. So I with the, with the cheeks. So yeah, with, with the cheeks here, the forehead, and the both cheeks and, and the chin. What happens is that I don't know how the color really matched up. I guess it really the computer read the color of the of the character in the background and said, okay, that's the color it's going to be. Uh, the mustache and everything that actually came out pretty good too uh let's see <coughs> i'm gonna try to attempt to do the facial um gestures on this so yeah we'll save that we won't really do much with that so i'm gonna bring my face into place sometimes it's a little buggy i mean it is a beta version so i'm out of my recording booth so i can actually do this no, nope. all right. You know what? Let me transfer into an, uh, another character. These kind of things you have to work on, right? If so that doesn't work, if the character thing doesn't work, you might have to just close it down. So let's uh, let's close down that and <coughs> let's reopen up Omana. Slide over here. Open it there. Go to your avatars. All right. Let's see if I can catch him, capture my face yet. He's not responding, so it's a it's a little buggy. No. Yeah, here we go. I got my face working. Ah, I'm an Ashton of Black Suit Men. Okay, that's. Not, but yeah, it's um, and I actually I tested this out with a bunch of other people, and it has it has face tracking, eye tracking. So that's my eyes actually moving, facial tracking. Uh -huh. So it's mocap to your face, eyebrows. It's like motion, uh, motion portrait. Or uh, there's many apps like that, but I know motion motion portrait as one. We can actually map it to your whole face and map your mouth. So. Um, So you get a whole range of actual face movement from any character. All right, and then here's this one. I had to take off my glasses for this because just in case. Okay, so mouth. So, yeah, so after when you get that kind of stuff, it's because of the, the lighting you have going on in the face where it's trying to map out every direction and so it's just like how many video games kind of tell you you have to do this in a lightly uh lightly br a bright room or light, lightly lit room you know um anything that has to do with motion tracking and stuff like that so the light kind of bounces off and the camera can actually capture everything of your character uh, it's it's still a beta you know it's not going to capture everything that you want oh i fell out not going to capture everything that you want but it, it works nonetheless and it 
burns battery so you gotta be careful how long you stay on this um, on this thing so what else can I show you about it um, so just skin so that's pretty much it and what else oops don't want to do that so albums so what you have to do is make sure that your character has like certain parts of its face lit sorry now you gotta make sure your, your character has certain parts of its of the uh, face lit so you know the cheeks here um you know you want to get the ridge you want to know where the light's coming from and you want an image that's about like two like about uh, 211 by 3, 376 um because sometimes if the image is too big it'll just say no this image just this this is i like, cannot render this image so you want to very that's so that's a standard size i found for uh, for my amino avatars so i had to had to like the forehead and i had to like the cheeks didn't really come out as proper as i can because i was using a an app to light use the whitening on the face but if you have something like this where it's like okay you actually draw it from scratch and you know where the lightings come from this translate very well then yeah this translate very well than this here um this was another trial and error uh you can see the light the, me trying to light up the face here and here and here um the neck to see if it captures um this one i don't know how this one really worked i guess the shadows on it just fooled the camera into thinking yep this is the actual face so this was one of my best ones standard picture and i guess it, it has the front facing face uh you can see on negan from the walking dead his cheeks and face are lit over here and there uh, so it captured that pretty well this one it's gonna need some work i mean it wasn't supposed to be made for this this was just a test trial but as you see there's no lighting around here only around the eyes so when it comes over it's uh, not the best also there's no much more for black people hair if you're hoping for hair you're probably going to get an afro um so everything really works out well the nose everything really falls into place you can you can get a kind of a 2d face onto um onto a 3d face it just depends on how you use it so I guess I hope that helps you out when you're using your avatar and you know you're using it with your friends because you know it's a, it's a nice cool thing that they brought out. It just depends on who's using it and how they use it. So now it's also also this red button here. This one records video. So now I'm recording a video for a video and it's just gonna show up here. I'm gonna stop that because I don't want to actually record that video, but. All this does is record a video you can send out to any other place like um, Instagram and such. So, uh, enjoy the Avatar app and thanks for watching. Bye.